how to create Google Forms with conditional logic. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can create Google Forms with conditional logic that can help you in branching out your forms in far more detail and gathering valuable information. So starting off, I'm going to open up a blank form so we can get started with building our form. Or this is going to be our work assessment or personal assessment form. And then after that, we're going to add our basic question. So what, or first off, we're going to add basic settings where we can ask their name. So this is going to be a short answer, your name. And we're going to mark this as a required question. Then I'm going to click on add question. And then from here, we're going to start adding our conditional logic. So for our conditional logic question, it's going to ask what is the most difficult issue you're dealing with right now. I'm going to add multiple different answers in the form of a multiple choice. So the first option is going to be work-life balance. The other option is going to be email management. And the third option is going to be um, excessive or let's say email management, work-life balance, and physical stress, let's say. Now, in this, I want to build conditional logic in a sense where if someone selects work-life balance, my form is going to look different for the person that selects work-life balance and email management and physical stress without having to create multiple forms. So what we're going to do is we're going to section off our form. Now, this would be our starting section, which would be available to everyone. However, after that, we're going to click on add section and we're going to add three sections based upon how many conditional logics you want to create. So we have two sections over here and section one is going to be titled work life balance. I just like to title it the same thing as I did my options. The second section is email management and then after that i am going to again click on add section which is not letting me do that because i haven't added any more questions so over here i've created my fourth section so the first section where we ask their name and ask the first question is section one then we have section two three and then four which is going to be for physical stress then i can add the questions related so let's say i'm just going to add one question after each one of these sections so when i show you guys the form at the end you are able to distinguish it so this is going to be do you take work at home question mark and this is just going to be a short answer then in email or first i'm going to do physical stress then i'm going to go with email management so i'm going to add a question in physical stress so what posture is your work position and then after that in email management if i want to build further logic which means that within email management there can be two types of issues so what is your primary primary email management issue and then i'm going to select this as a multiple choice and within that i'm going to add the first choice as too many emails and then we have categorization issues now from here i want to build a conditional logic where if someone selects too many emails their form is different from someone with categorization issues so i'm going to click on add section and what i'm going to do is i'm going to name it too many mails too many emails and then i'm going to add a question for that which is going to be do you subscribe to your normal things using your work email and then after that i'm going to add another section okay which is going to be for people that said that categorization of emails is their primary issue and i can add a question for that which is going to be do you use labeling system question mark and at all like this now once i've done that you guys can see my sections have been created now to actually make this form fully functional we are going to change the way that everything goes so we are going to go to section depending on what the answer is the option is going to dictate which section they're going to go with so go back into our first question click on the three dots on the bottom right click on go to section based answer 
What this does is that depending on whatever they answered, their section is going to differ. So for work-life balance, we're going to select section two. So you're basically going to select the same thing as the option that has been created, physical stress over here. Now, once we do that, we're going to scroll down. And after that, we are going to close out. So after the end of work-life balance, after the end of email management, after the end of physical stress, we don't want them to continue on to the other sections of the form. We want them to just submit the form. So after that, after section two, I'm going to click on submit form. After this, I am not going to go to submit form. I'm going to go to submit form in the second conditional logic. So in email management, I'm not going to change the option under email management to directly submit the form because the answers of too many emails or categorization issues is going to dictate the second logic. And after the second logic form, then we're going to submit the form. So we're going to choose submit form as the option for the rest of these. Now, once we've done that, again, we're going to apply our second conditional logic, which is going to be in email management. We're going to click on this and then we're going to click on the three dots, click on go to section based, uh, go to answer based section. And then we're going to select too many emails and categorization of emails as the two sections that they are going to be led to. Now, this form looks huge, but because I've only added one question in each category, this is actually going to be a really short form. Now, I'm going to go into responses and then settings, and I want to manage how the responses are collected. I'm not going to collect verified emails and yeah and after that we have presentation form default and i'm just going to click on publish i can click on publish over here once i do that i can copy the responder link and i'm just going to open this up over here copy this and then we're going to open this up over here and just like that we have our questions now from here i'm going to add a name and then add email management as the thing we're dealing with I'm going to click on next and you guys can see in email management, it's directly asked me questions related to email management. So let's say categorization of emails is my issue. Then do you use a labeling system? No. And then click on submit. And just like that, our form has been completed. And just like that, each individual, based on the answers they provide, they will have a different form. And if you have any details that you might want to know, any suggestions, any improvements that you think that I could add on to these videos, then please do leave them in the comment box down below and I will make future videos according to those. Also leave those in the comment box down below and I will try to make videos on those as well. And make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos and if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well and if you find that there is something missing i will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing so that was it for today make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and i will catch you guys in the next video